then uh, the Bin Laden raid hit in, uh, in 2011. And uh, I had been thinking about doing something with military dogs. I had been writing articles for Dogster, but not anything too deep. And I realized this was the time because when we went after Osama bin Laden, there was a uh, Navy SEAL team that had a dog with it. And uh, that really made people go crazy for the idea that dogs were in the military. I found that there was very little about military dogs or working dogs in general, and I loved it. I, I, I thrive in the world of dogs, and, and the military, my dad was a, a young, young soldier in World War II, and he was homesick oftentimes when he was, he was 18, he was a kid, and he had told me when I was a kid that dogs helped him, military dogs there helped him whenever he felt homesick, they seemed to know, and they'd come up to him, and, during the day, they'd help people by saving lives, and at night, they'd save souls. So it was just sort of in my, uh, in my upbringing and in my soul. Secret Service is not known for opening its door to people writing books about them, and there have been problems, issues with the Secret Service. A minority of people who work there, a vast minority, the majority are, from what I've seen, are extremely hardworking, extraordinarily dedicated. But of course, what gets the headline are the scandals, and um, I'm happy to say, you know, their their motto is that the dogs are worthy, uh, that they're worthy of trust and confidence. That's what the Secret Service is. But I definitely found that the dogs and the handlers are worthy of trust and confidence, and no dogs, to my knowledge, have been involved in any scandals. <laughs> Hurricane, he is the dog who starts the book. He's the one you'll meet throughout the book with his equally personable handler. Marshall and uh, they start and finish the book and, and they have an amazing adventure. Hurricane is an emergency response team dog. Basically he's a tactical canine. So they're the ones stationed in front of the White House who are there to stop anyone from getting into the White House and they're a le less than lethal force. So they're, and they're, I've never seen training like what they go through. They are incredible dogs. And And, and the best dogs like Hurricane have this on-off switch where they can be on, they can be getting that bad guy and, and all over him and, and risking their lives and willingly, happily going into the fight. And then afterward, hey, uh, you know, I, I feel like a belly rub. There are two basic programs for the dogs. One involves just sniffing. They're sniffing for explosives. The other is being badass, basically, protecting the president, the vice president, visiting dignitaries, the pope, with their, with what they have, with their muscle, with their brawn. And so the terriers, the terrier, the, the labs, they're the sniffers. They're the ones out in the public eye. And the other guys are, are more behind the scenes. And they're, uh, the main dogs they have now are Belgian Malinois, or Belgian Malinois mixed with shepherds. And they're really smart, they're super hardworking, and they can go forever.